Welcome back to the channel. We are here June 28th, and this is going to be the breakdown for the showdown slate on June 29th. Uh, before we dive into tomorrow's slate uh, between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Atlanta Hawks, we are going to talk about some of the props that are going on currently right now. I'm doing a video, and you're seeing a live look at the score right now, 82 to 70. Currently, Phoenix Suns are down by 12. Look, I give it to you real raw. You know, that's this is how I do it. Phoenix Suns might lose. They might lose. But, but I did have the props at Chris Paul over 15 and a half points. And I had Chris Paul over 18 and a half points. He's already at 16 points right there. As you can see, already in, uh, still time left in the third quarter. He has a whole nother fourth quarter to play as well. And I had Devin Booker to score over 30 uh, 30 points and above. He's already at 21 points. So it's very, very feasible for him to score nine more points in that fourth quarter or in the rest of this third quarter as well. So, so far it's looking like two, well, two out of the three props are going to hit. Um, well, three out of the four technically, because I told you to take two Chris Paul um, points overs. So three out of the four of the props are looking like they're going to cash. The safer option was for you to take the points um, from the Clippers. But, you know, I'm not perfect. We live and we learn. And we're just going through how uh, the series is going on. And then you see Ivica Zubak is going to be out for tonight. I thought it was a clear-cut decision um, with the Phoenix Suns. But that is okay. Uh, the small ball lineup is working for the Clippers. Chris Paul's destiny is going to have to wait another game. Maybe, maybe. We will see. We will see. So let's move on to tomorrow's slate. Let's look over at the Atlanta game and Milwaukee in um, the Hawks' home stadium. And this is what I'm looking towards. Obviously, we love Trey Young. I gave you him. He was a great play. Um, and I gave you Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich was a nice play to fill in the rest of your lineups. Um, Giannis and Middleton were the keys um, to have in your lineups as well to get you to the top. But um, I, those are must plays. Those are must plays. You're going to stick with that f core four and you got to fill in the cheap guys. That's what I've been telling you the whole time. So you, you stick with a solid captain. Whether it was Trey Young, who was fine, and you would catch with him. Um, Giannis, who was great. Middleton, I did downplay him. I did like Holiday more than uh, more than Middleton, just being transparent with you. But we're going to focus in on this game four, this opportunity that Atlanta has to at least maybe tie the series. We will see. Now, with the injury to Trey Young, he's a little more questionable with his ankle injury. The role guy is going to have to step up. And they did shoot well. So they did shoot well. Well, Bogdanovich shot a little bit better, but it was more of the how he played. If you watched Bogdanovich, he was more aggressive um, going um, going to the basket and taking more threes. He was out there, and he looked like him old self, but he just didn't knock down the jumpers. I'm willing to go back to that well, and he's at a new cheaper price, below 6600 now at 6400 They're going to need him, Bogdanovich and Herter. For Atlanta to keep competitive with the Milwaukee Bucks, they're going to have to rely on their two outside shooters in Bogdanovich and Herter to keep the games close. Um, Trey Young cannot do it on his own. So Bogdanovich, Herter, Collins, Gallinari, those are the guys that are going to have to chip in and help the Atlanta Hawks you know, tie this series up yet again, which is very doable. It is very doable. We've seen stretches from Milwaukee where they struggle, but... I'm going to stick with Bogdanovich. I like him as a cheaper captain option because there's a lot of expensive guys to pay for. If you do go with the Bogdanovich route, you can fit in Giannis. You can fit in Trey Young. You can fit in Drew Holiday or Middleton, which one of the two that you like. And you still have a solid lineup. As you can see here, I fit in Herder. I got Giannis. I got Trey. I got Holiday. These are all starters. These are all guys that are getting 30 minutes plus, and you can still get you a 1K guy. Now, let me tell you one little gem, one little gem. In each in the last three uh, showdown slates, the winning lineup in Milwaukee versus Atlanta has had Nkongu. Each of the lineups that finished first place have had Onyeka Nkongu, okay, at 1K. 
So you, you fill out your whole salary. If you got 1K left or a little bit above 1K, throw them in there and you should be fine. Okay. I've seen it. Game one. You can check it. You can check check your check your recent contest. The contest that had Milwaukee Bucks and Atlanta Hawks scroll all the way up to first place and you will see their lineup build. You have to go and review so you see where people's minds are at. Oh, man, I was a little bit off in here. And you rework it. That's why a lot of these people are doing 50, 100, 150, 200 lineups. They, get th they give themselves more opportunities. It is near impossible to throw in one lineup and think you're going to win first place or cash. I mean, I some people do it. I do it sometimes just to have some, some skin in the game. But if you're expecting, you know, my picks to result in, you know, one lineup and throwing it in against 20,000 other people, that's like playing the lottery, man. Like, come on. You got to be more realistic. I'm giving you plays and directions where the game might go. And from then on, you make your own decisions. I'm here to help and we're here to conversate so we can make these right decisions. Uh, I'm giving you great um, prop picks and I'm giving you solid uh, util and captain's um, spots as well. So in my opinion, I love Bogdanovich at that cheap price because I want to pay up for the other expensive guys. Kevin Herter is going to be the other guy that I do like. He came out and he showed something um, Playing well on both sides of the ball. Trey Young was a little gimpy at the end of the game. He stepped up with seven assists. Kevin Herter stepped up with three uh, blocks as well and knocked down um, 11 points. I think he can go to another level because he's a better scorer than that. So this is another guy that's going to be key for the Atlanta Hawks in tomorrow's game four. Very critical, critical game four. You do not want to go down 3-1. All right, Giannis Antetokounmpo, we don't need to go over him. He's a must in every single lineup. You have to play him. Just You just have to play him. Either you're going to put him in captain or you put him in Utah. Figure it out. You have to play him. Another guy you have to play. Despite the fact that he is injured, he is still very capable of um, producing well on the assist side. He might struggle with points, but on the assist side, he usually comes through. He struggled in back-to-back -back games with four and three. I expect him to that to go up because he's done it. He's done it. When he's struggling shooting, 5 for 23 against Philly, what, ha what did he do? 10 assists. Um, when he's 10 to 23, uh, no, 8 and 26 against Philly in that game, he only scored 25 points. He came through with 18 assists. He's a dual threat, and Trey Young, it has to be respected. Um, and the last but, not ple last, last but not least play is going to be Drew Holiday. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be on Middleton. He's usually up and down. He had his game the, the day prior, but consistency. In all three of these games between Milwaukee and Atlanta, Drew Holiday has had well over 30 DK, well over 35 DK. So 61, 39, and 36. He struggled shooting the ball at 18% and still scored 36 DK. That's who I want. That's who I want, all right? Someone who's going to have a bad day but still produces. I love Drew Holiday for tomorrow. Let's look over to FanDuel. Just looking at the cheaper route, and you can fit in a decent player at the bottom. Um, you could change, maybe change one of these guys out. Maybe change. How much is Drew Holiday? Dang, he is more expensive. Um, if you go with this core, you can afford a Tucker, a Reddish. Reddish got some solid. Did he get some solid minutes? Hold on, hold on. I could have swore I saw him get some solid minutes. Or did it? He had 17. Okay, yeah. No, no, he didn't play last game. He did not play last game. So they sat. So you're going to have to make a decision. Let's see. We got Solomon Hill. He got some minutes. Lou William might come up big. And then you got a Kongu right here. A Kongu in each and every lineup. If everyone else is producing, you get a Kongu to chip in 9, 10 points just because you fit in the guys that you wanted. And that's how these people are winning. I'm telling you. Game one, game two, and game three, on Congo was in each and every lineup, man. It's on DraftKings. On DraftKings. Now, let's go over to the props. Let me add one right now. Uh, let me go to assists, and we're going to be a little aggressive on this. I'm going to go to assists, and we're going to take Trey Young over 10 plus assists. He, he might struggle in the shooting department, you know, trying to take the ball every single time down, down to the hole for a layup. I'm going to try to force a foul, 
but I expect his assists to go back up. He's struggled the last past two games with three and four assists. I expect him to have 10 plus assists in this game. Another one I'm going to go with is going to be Milwaukee Bucks and at Atlanta Hawks over 219. Both of the first two games, um, the last past two games, have gone on the under at 226 and 223. You're getting a seven point discount. And um, if Milwaukee is playing up to Atlanta, because if Atlanta's um, role players are coming through knocking down um, threes, then Milwaukee's going to have to keep up pace and they're going to score just as much. 219 is not a lot. All right. It's not a lot in, in today's NBA. Um, the last couple games have been going under. I expect a little bit more shooting, just a tad, just a tad, tad more, more shooting from um, both of these teams and knocking down some more shots, especially if Bogdanovich um, is feeling himself now, which what you saw in that previous game. Um, he was a little more aggressive and now he's being a more assertive and they're going to need that. They're going to need that in game four. All right. Let me know how you feel about the the core for tomorrow. Um, I think we got a solid one going. I'm sticking with the role players of Atlanta Hawks, then filling in the key guys uh, from Milwaukee Bucks. So we love Drew Holiday. We love Giannis Antetokounmpo. If you're looking for a bench guy on Milwaukee, you go with Bobby Portis, okay? You go with Bobby Portis. On the Atlanta side, we love Trey Young. We love Kevin Horder. We love Bogdanovich. You can really get deep with Atlanta side because they have the capable players. All right. Um, but we, we're going to stick with the role players on Atlanta side. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. 411. Let's go. 411. We're almost at 500. Let's keep pushing. Um, that's going to be the next goal, 500. And then it sky's the limit. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, message SD, and I'll be back tomorrow in another video. Peace out.